Yeah, I, I mean, uh, I don't want to sort of make any comment on the circles you move in, Steve. They're, they're very good circles, of course. But if you just look at the Office of National Statistics data, it does suggest there's a missing 900,000 people, largely people of a rather older age, so towards the end of their working life, who you would intuitively think are still concerned about their healthcare outcomes in the workplace. So they've withdrawn their labour. It's a factor not just unique to the UK. We certainly see it in the US data, and it'll be one of the key metrics we get of the non-farm payrolls at the end of the week. But also younger people, people aged 16 to 24, an important pressure valve for the UK labour market. Uh, his, you know, consistent with every other recession we've ever modelled, younger people tend to spend a little bit longer in education when a recession hits. And those courses that they've taken on take a while to roll off and for their labour supply to come back. So I do think the data suggests that while it might not be your lived experience, there are almost a million uh, workers, and that tallies not entirely one for one with the 1.1 million vacancies there are in the UK economy. So I suspect as those factors ease, you'll see some of the supply constraints start to ease. Yeah, no, I, I thought you were relatively kind there, Simon. I thought you were going to say about me being one of those older workers, one of the few older workers who's still in employment. But I, I'll, I'll take that. Thank you, Simon. Um, um, but, but in the States as well, there is this anticipation, seeing as we've got payroll week as well, that m miraculously the, the participation rate is going to suddenly find a 62, 63 handle at some stage, and that will be the marker uh, for more economic activity or a, a deeper jobs market as well. I just can't necessarily see that in the very short term. Have we got something systemic going on, something structural? going on that means we're just not going to see a uh, mid 60s uh, participation rate for years and years to come yes yeah, so Steve the compliments going to keep coming actually because that's one of the best questions I've had on the labor market since I published the note uh, why because actually for the, between 2000 and 2016, the US labour market structurally saw participation fall as a result of ageing demographics. But as the economy was run hot, whatever one thought of the Trump-Mnuchin economic uh, approach, as the economy ran hot, that inverted, that started to pick up the US participation rate. Contrary to what the CBO thought, contrary to what uh, the Federal Reserve thought, and that has to call into question, I think we can all acknowledge the policy is being run pretty hot right now in the United States. Is there a reverse hysteresis, to so go back to the economics textbooks, a reverse scarring effect happening from running your economy hot that pulls back people back into the labour market? We're not going to know instantly, but I think it's enough of an open question to make it worth the gamble if you're trying to uh, pursue maximum employment, which is the uh, stated strategy of both the Treasury and the Federal Reserve. Simon, let me... Hi, I'm Joanna Bersetti, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.